Welcome back, my name's Nick. And I'm Corey, and today we're gonna be watching your favorite show, which is not really your favorite show, because it's awful. The Idol finale. We're watching the last episode of this pile of dog poop brought to you by the same maker as the guy who made Euphoria, which is controversial in itself. Yeah, the man is very, this very show, horny. This show is uncontroversial on how much universally everyone hates it. We're gonna be taking a shot every time this show's horny, disgusting, weird, and depressing, which is pretty much every scene in the show. Yeah. Also, go ahead. I was gonna say, even if you haven't seen the show before, uh, don't worry, none of it makes sense at all. So don't feel like you have to be caught up on anything for You're the You're not finale. left out. Yeah, we're just gonna be making fun of it because it's terrible and the writing sucks and it's creepy and weird and we'll be pointing that out. If you wanna see all the nip slips and weird ass scenes that we can't put on YouTube because we would get banned, demonetized and thrown into the trash can oblivion of the internet, go to our Patreon down below where you can see the full uncut, uncensored version and support your boys. Now let's get into this popsicle stand of a movie show. Jocelyn forever. While planning a showcase for her upcoming tour, Jocelyn begins to take control of her relationship with Tedros. Oh, so she grabs the reins. That sounds... Tedros has cult where he uses Jocelyn as a little seahorse that he rides into... Seahorse? Fame. Deep under my skin this shot is sponsored by Apple. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it also looks like it could be a scene in a studio. Also, a heroin gallery where people just shoot heroin. Heroin gallery? Yeah, you've never heard that? Not it's at all. It's a room where people shoot heroin. It's like a museum for watching people do heroin. There he is. There he, he is, like the star of the show, the creepy fuck. He looks like the sad boy sitting alone in the corner. He's singled out. You know you're sad when you're sitting alone in the dark corner of a room, wearing a sunglasses, room. and drinking. During the day. What well, yeah. looks to be noon. Oh, that hair does He's not He's crying. Look Dude, this hair doesn't even look real. It does look a little fake. It looks shittier than the wigs we use in our dumbass skits. Yeah, it, it looked very Walmart. I hate the way Tedros licks his lips all the time. He's just like constantly standing there going. I think that's cocaine. Oh, he's taking another shot. He's an oh, alcoholic. He's taking your another shot. Eat my tongue. Jaws, so good. That sounded a little fake. <laughs> Seeing your friend absolutely struggling, it's like, Dude, you're doing, you're doing fantastic. I know you're homeless and are potentially being put into jail, but you're just doing really well, man. Sounds good, bring it back. I wanna hear that part again. You know, I think you should go. Oh, Ooh. there's tension. You're gonna kick out your only source of inspiration? Well, you've served your purpose. Oh! You're, you've blown your load, bud. This is uh, the moment after you have like really meaningless sex, and then you're just asking them to leave right then and there. <laughs> Please take the Uber and go. Actually about me. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, is it a self-portrait now? Oh, you're just singing about yourself in this song? That's what they said like five Literally, ago. bruv. She is the idol, so yes, she is singing about herself. He sounds like a high schooler. Oh, you're gonna yeah. think about your feelings? Yeah, okay, yeah, all right. Okay, I like The Weeknd's music, but as an actor, I don't know if I like him. I, I think, think he also helped, there. he helped produce this, so like he chose to do this role. But he's not there though. He had her like bring me to his club, and then he pointed me out on the dance floor and he's like, is that Jocelyn? Oh That's my not God. True. This guy's a pick me guy. He, we planned everything. He oceans 11'd her. Yeah, he ran a heist to getting into her booty. Some super LA shit. F you, Mike. That's some super LA shit. Facts. When did uh, Tedros first spring me up? What are you wearing? Hello? Why? Manifesting this for What are you talking Chloe, no. I've been manifesting getting to this girl's butthole for like Why? the last two weeks. Why is everyone sitting down, like producing music, like a serious thing? This girl just has devil horns, it's <laughs> Halloween. My life, you wanted me to hear your artists? I did. I like them. They can stay. Is she absurdly tall or is he absurdly Oh, she short? grew a big old cock and she just slapped it across his cheek. They're eye to eye, so unless she is like six foot, he is suddenly five, six. He has shrunk into a little rat. I think he's gonna do what rats do and panic for control and just burn everything down. I'm waiting for him to put a cigarette out on her. This scene felt like it came out of nowhere, by the way. Like they're just doing their music and he just comes in. He's like, I think, I think we should listen to that one part again. Like I wanted to hear it. And they're like, yeah, by the way, get the f out. Well, he was shown to be like isolated from the group. I'm sure a lot more f***ed up shit has happened in the three episodes we didn't watch. Oh, we didn't take a shot. Yeah, he, they basically the called him out. The sad little rat just got told off. They by... called him out as a groomer, essentially. So shot to grooming and bad acting. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. But uh, I have some concerns about the tour. I'm gonna come by at one o'clock and we're gonna have a chat, okay? You know what's funny is that he's on speaker, but his phone is right here in front of his face. Cause he's an asshole. <laughs> That's what assholes do, Corey. Oh. 
Okay, well, I want Ramsey and Chloe and Isaac to be my opening act. Oh, you, right. you want- This is definitely part of the cult. This is the cult. And he's just like, you're so, taking over my cult? He's wow. the cult leader that's getting left here? out. <laughs> Are you still here? We're gonna put on the best f***ing show they've ever seen. Aye, right? aye, Captain. Shut the f*** up! Yes! Thank you! Yes, cook, girl! Oh, shut the f*** up. When someone says shut the f*** up and your response is, oh, shut the f*** up. These are my fucking people now. Damn. Shout out to Ted just being a little puss, baby. You are a sweaty, drunken, fucking pathetic And you're a puss, baby. A p what do what you call piss, baby? Piss, baby. All right, you're being a fucking distraction right now. This is like mom and dad fighting in front of the kids. All the, all the people yes. in the back are like, <laughs> This is like the, the foster's home for imaginary fuck ups. <laughs> Alright, what are you guys waiting for? Get up! Let's go! Let's clean this fucking- She already gave them the pep talk, and now he's like, well, fuck off. He's just I'm like, giving another pep talk, because they're my people. Yeah, he's that little fucking failure of a class clown that can't get everyone's attention. He's just kind of like, guys, look at me! Look at me over here! I'm the leader! I run the show, guys! It's, someone else already attention. did your job for you, and so you're like, fuck. So as they're already inspired and they're leaving, you're like, well, uh, I said that first, so uh, it's my, uh, my idea. Mine. Me. Damn, why are these so Oh my god, where should cars? I park? I don't know where I should park my car. There's this not a such spaces. a small driveway. Gosh. Driveway. Who is this beautiful man? I thought it was a painting at first, but now it might be a person. He's like a really hot Targaryen. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> is he just a show guy? Or is this the front door? What, what I is think this? He's the male flopper. He's just the guy who fks if you need it. Is he just the doorman? Yeah, have a seat. She knows we're here, right? Do you tell her yeah, Andrew yeah. Finkelstein's here? Of course here? she's here, of course. Are you kidding me? You, you, you guys know that Andrew Finkelstein's here, right? Yeah? Yeah, did you know that I came into the room? Yeah? Oh my god, this guy's so awkward. So cringe. Right. Cringe. Shot for cringe. He's like lost all control and he's like, well, uh, pfft, I Dude, need to tell people to do stuff. Everyone here is just fing like just scouring for attention. What? Thank you. How about you? <clears throat> a whiskey, please. Now that's service. This is really creepy. <laughs> Thank you. Are you sure I can't suggest something a little bit? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Meet me upstairs. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. I'm sorry. This is uh, Ted. Yeah, um, I, please forgive I, me. Imagine getting to sat, like, sit down for your artist. Like, you're, you're a manager. You're, your artist is going to pitch you a song. Or your like album or something, and then someone comes down. And it's like, can I get you water? Can I? Can I get you water? <laughs> you know, you just you're just a fucking TikTok obsessed, fucking algorithm cunt. Oh yeah, oh yeah, talk your shit. And that's a little bit the pot calling the kettle black. Nikki, you know what I'm I saying? got this. This is good. <laughs> black, you're a huh? TikTok algorithm cunt. <laughs> what is going on? Did he just take offense to an idiom? He's like black, huh? From clown world. Who could go and get her for me? I'd like to have a fucking meeting that I came here for. Otherwise, I'm out of here. I don't know what his goal is. It's like, all right, I need to show these guys that I'm powerful, that I can do anything I want in this room. This room is mine. I'm gonna kick someone out for no reason at all. We've never met before, but she's an awful person. I think he's gonna fuck everything up. My music. This and look girl, at her. This girl's just like, look at me. Hey, have you seen? Have you seen my vagina? I don't know where it is. Uh, I think I lost it. The the one. Can guy's, you help me find it? The one guy's looking over, but like. Where's the water I asked? <laughs> <laughs> no, she brought it to him. Oh, did she? Yeah, he was rolling his eyes out of his skull. Would you mind singing that song that you were working on with Tedros, Like a God? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Go ahead, Chloe. All right, Thumbelina, let's hear it. She looks like a 12-year-old wearing fucking lingerie of, like, a girl that should be on OnlyFans. Like, it's so clashing. Makes you hurt again so you can heal and say amen. Everyone's just blowing a load in their pants. She's talented, but so is the fucking banjo boy deliverance. <laughs> <laughs> these lines, bro. These lines. Is this is this like show supposed to be like um, Whiplash, where it's like, okay, so this guy's an asshole. He's terrible. No one likes him, but he kind of does have a talent for making musicians. I mean, my God. My God, she's good. She's good. She's not wearing any pants, but she's good. Is there something fucking? Why are you dancing? Why? Please, why are you crawling? What? Why are you, why are you, what's going on? Do you know who else was really talented? Charles Manson. He moved into Dennis Wilson's house. They had to fucking tear out the walls because there's so much fucking lice. Ew. This conversation paired with what's going on in this room is just bizarre. They're talking about the girl crawling on the floor. Yeah. Is she wearing anything? I don't know. Horny. <laughs> Horny, 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 horny. You didn't want to take a shot to horny with the girl in the underwear at first? Now, like, the horny pin has been set. 
Mm-hmm. I'm here to calm you down. I'm a Jew. I'm anxious. It's in my. <laughs> Shout to that. Why is every show gonna call out the Jews? He's Jewish. <laughs> Sam Levinson is Jewish too. And now he's yelling at the housekeepers. Who is Tedros? Yeah, he's like, get the f- on the lay on the lay. Get the f- out. Awful. He's a terrible person. So th- this is like Ooh. American Idol for them. Like he's just running through all the cult, saying, "Hey, look at this guy. He's good. Look at this girl. She's good." Look at this shit. This guy's a fucking god. <laughs> god, he's amazing, but mentally. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's good, but mentally, is he there? <laughs> Nikki's just in it. She's just like, yes, fuck me right Cobwebs here. Cobwebs are cleaning out. <laughs> this is so awkward. Like, unless you pay for this at a strip club, this would be so awkward to watch. Yeah. Okay, okay shot to this. This, this, this is, is bizarre. uncomfortably horny. This guy's high as fuck, bro. Now I really to wanna show. know what Tedros is gonna do. Cause he's gonna snap. Tedros looks like he's like preschool shooter vibes. He looks like middle schooler that just found out his crush didn't actually like him. Honestly, Tedros, all he should be is a talent scout. Well, that's what he is. But he, he but wants the without the crackhead part. Like, remove the- That's part of the part? vibe, that's part of the vibe. Is it? Is, they, that, is that part of the magic? Yeah, they wouldn't have gotten- Is that his rider? It's like, okay, listen, I'll be the best town scout you can ever imagine, but, 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 I need to run a cult with the people I find. It's not, it's not like the crack magic is despite oh, everything right, else. It's how he found them is the crack magic. Bro said I'm so high right now, I don't even know what the f- is going on. Did she just forget that she got bitched out as soon as she walked in? I think she doesn't give a fuck. She's easily just turning things. <laughs> and everyone's trying to fuck the, the manager. And he's like, is I'm married. Is that Is he the manager? Something like that. I, the the Jew, the the token Jew. The Jew. Yeah. And he's just like, ring, I'm mar- married. Uh, I, no. He definitely fucks around. I don't know this whole Tedros, not all him. I mean, Jocelyn's been mentoring these people. Ah. Oh, there's two sides of the coin, my yeah. friend. Yes. Do this, you did it. This has you all over it. And these it has your c- stains everywhere. She just said yeah. they have never met before. They don't know who each other are. And she's like, oh, this has you all over it. All I know is I need you to bring me this good trip. Nikki. We do this shit on our own. This is the pinnacle of LA shit, that there's two yeah. separate contracts going on on the same f-ing couch right now. And the thing is that she's such a like suck up that she got bitched out a second ago. And now she's like, well, uh, we, we work together, me, you. Got balls. You got balls. I got balls. Have you made- well, Show me your balls. Uh, <laughs> show me your balls right now, drape them across my forehead. Okay, shot to this whole thing that's going on right now. These two f-ing contracts going on on the couch while everyone in the room is naked and singing. This is like a half sex party, half business meeting. They're also, they're all like two feet from each other and they're all like whispering side <laughs> conversations. Hey, did you know that the person on the other side of the couch of you is a c-? They literally just talked about it. They're, what? She was like, and I, I'm not even mad that you called me a c-. And he's like, are you a c-? <laughs> She's like, I can be your c-. She said that? Yeah. What? Because you're small and you're petty. You're small, stupid, weak, and poor. Hit him with the Andrew Tate, baby. She, she tated him. She tated him right in the taint. Is he gonna kill her or something? Why is Nikki being passed around like a little fucking? Uh, oh, cause they know if they tried to pull the shit on Chaim, Chaim would backhand him. Really really I feel kind of bad for her. I think that she sucks. I'm not leaving. Then I'll call the cops. Then I'll keep you hostage. Then they'll fucking kill you. Not before I fucking kill you first, bitch. Okay. Why is this not escalating somewhere? Just tell him to get out again. You have a I don't think of people that likes you more Corey, than men. there's something that we don't realize as men, and that is girls have this thought going in their head that the man can kill them. No, she has a room it full of bad. people. She lives in a multi-million dollar mansion. She has a room full of people that will adore her and will listen to anything she says. And she knows that he knows that she knows that she doesn't like him. To telling each other to, that they will kill each other. Hey, let me talk to you over the corner over here. All right? we'll hey, let's have offer, a little conversation. Give me an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> yes. Hey, come here, come here for a second. Let me put my hand on your back, all right? We're gonna talk about stuff. Listen, first your fashion sense. No more Adidas track pants to work, okay? <laughs> no more heavy heroin usage. Second, uh, you look like you've been crying. Have you been crying? I know, like, you lost you lost your girl, but uh, we're gonna find you someone else. You read the Little Red Riding Hood. When I was a kid in school, I ran into my little daughter the other night. My little daughter. This was the guy in the first episode that was like, 
I'm a fing kill. I'm a fing kill. <laughs> See, I feel like if Tedros wasn't such a piece of shit, he would be able to stay in the group and work with all of this. But that's how he found them in the first place. You can't get one without the other. Yeah. He worked his Obsessive crack... narcissist? It's crack, crack magic. Ma it's crack magic. Yeah. It's, it's one word. It's, it's, like... not, it's not you have crack and then you have the magic. It's ah, crack magic. He's a warlock when he's high on heroin. But uh, you remember what happens next? No. Well, I didn't either. He's having a threatening conversation about Little Red Riding Hood, by the way. I love when somebody brings in a little story. But it's not like a very threatening story. You remember what happens? You remember what happens, Little Red Riding Hood? The, the wolf eats the grandma. I'm the wolf, by the way. And you're the grandma. He takes a scissors instead. He jams it into the wolf's guts and snip, snip. Out comes the grandma and Little Red Riding Hood. I see what they're going uh, for in this scene. Being like, hey, we're going to talk about something quick and easy. It's like, oh, my kids, they love this story. Oh, I'm going to make it threatening. <laughs> I don't think Little Red Riding Hood is that story. It doesn't feel that threatening. It feels like this guy's just vaguely connecting Little Red Riding it's, Hood. I, yeah, I see the threat. It's weird. Uh, let's take a shot to this, this whatever's happening, because something's about to go down It could down have been right anything. Now. The way that he tangented off of what actually happened, he's like, oh, you know what happens, Little Red Riding Hood? There's a wolf. A shotgun, and, scissors. And, and you know what happens stuff. next? Uh, the guy gets a shotgun and cuts open the wolf. And Tetra's like, that didn't happen in Little I Red Riding Hood. I think Tetra's going to snap right now. Were you scared? I said, no. She said, why not? Cause. I am the hunter. And now he's I can't scaled. tell if he's intimidated he's or if he's confused. Oh no, he's scaled because that story was scary. I'd be scared if someone just improv about Little Red Riding Hood like that <laughs> and killing you. <laughs> yeah, just be like, that's not that's not the story. Tedros is gonna snap. I'm telling you, man, he's gonna go off the f***ing rails. Man's gonna lose his shit. You know it's bad when someone gives you a threat and then you just can't respond because you're so scaled, and then they walk away. What, what the? Why? Okay, we can't why? even show that. Why? Go check out Patreon if you want to see what's going on. She kind of did a twerky thing, but like in a way that the shot didn't need to be the way that the shot was. She basically looks naked. Shot to horny. What is this dance? Is that part? They call the fucking SWAT team? This song is definitely better than that first piece of shit she sang for Tedros. Why is he like the center of attention getting lap danced on? Because he's probably the big dick in the room. And then Tedros just randomly gets arrested in the background and no one's paying attention to him. No one cares about Tedros. He's going down to a basement. Was he going like this? Uh, uh. Are they taking him out? Are they going to drown him in the pool? This is the pool room. Or the cult room. What is happening? My God, what is happening in this scene? Oh, they're, they're taking him out. We'll give you an offer you can't refuse. <sighs> he's like, not again. <laughs> no, you've ruined my $5 wig. What, are you, what am I going to do about this, man? Oh, $500,000 for you, Mauricio Jackson. She's worth so much more than money. Rip it. Yeah, f***ing rip it. Now you get no money. Well, now we go to plan B. I f***ing love plan B. I prefer it. <laughs> plan B, we kill you. We kill I remember Little Red Hood, how the story ends. He See, he could have just taken the 500 k and then squirmed his little rat shit back. <laughs> She's literally like a daughter to him. I don't, I don't like, I don't like this. What, the cheeks everywhere? It's just, it's too horny for no reason. It is too horny. Too horny for no reason. That's what the show is. The idol finale. Too and horny every scene has her ass out in my face. Sam Levinson's like, yeah, can you get a close up of the asshole? Cause I really want to see it again and God, again and again and again. why did she agree to this? <laughs> Sam Levinson edited this scene himself. He's done. He's done, I gave it to him. Gave him an offer, he can't refuse. How much did you have to pay him? A lot. <laughs> Plan B was I offered a million dollars instead. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe Chaim is Jewish. I think you only get one token Jew. <laughs> you can't have two Jews in Hollywood. Yeah. I don't think so, buddy. Now, every every squad needs one Jew, but you can't have more than that. Yeah, you can. Six weeks later. Okay, this is a tour, obviously. She's pulling up to a stadium. This is just to I'm show gonna pour you. I'm going to a shot now for the pre-building tension. This shot is just to show you that your life sucks and you can never have this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want this. Would you want to perform on tour? And this doesn't look like a tour outfit. This looks like she's going to a wine festival. In a long basement tunnel. She's Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, she is. <laughs> that was intended. The one piece of writing that actually has pulled itself together. Wait, they just approved her song. She's going on tour and like six that was weeks six weeks later. That seems quick. They set everything up to go on tour within six weeks. Is she going on tour with one song? 
imagine you pay like a thousand dollars to get a seat for this show. It's in a like a, a football stadium. It it's better big. like and blow you play, your f***ing brain for five minutes. You have a five minute set. Well, she does have a large opening gallery. Oh, true. Her entire show is all the cult doing their like opening, and then she plays opening. one song, and it's done. I know this is like a whole musical expression and shit like that, but what, everyone looks like they're like deeply disturbed. I think that's the point. That if you're an artist, you're probably broken on the inside. And if you're not broken, you're broken on the outside. I'm telling you, there's a gold mine of mental illness. <laughs> this is a gold mine Shot. of mental illness. There's a gold mine in mental illness. These guys, this guy's lines, they just gave him all the stingers. I'm telling you, that's a lot. That's the goal. The role of the token Jew in Hollywood is to just be the quick witted guy. The money quick witted guy. That psychopath is out of our oh, lives. Oh, yeah, for got rid of oh, him. My God, that the fucking guy was like herpes. We couldn't even Jeez. fucking get rid of him. Little do they know. Didn't two of them just meet him? Mauricio Jackson? Um. Mauricio Jackson. M -A. Is that M I U? Is that is that Italian? <laughs> How do you spell Jackson? Is that is a G or a J? Is that with a T? In I there? don't I don't have under G in my service. Oh, it's it has a silent G. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hold on, let me look it up again. I would watch another fifteen minutes of that girl just being like, "How do you spell? Is it t Ted?" It just keeps coming back to that. T Ted with a T. Okay. The I, tour is happening. There's a massive line. He's still standing there. I thought you were Ted with a K. Sorry. Is just a, a thing that says go f yourself. Is this the same stadium that they're performing you know, in? Or is there, where is he? I, yeah, I, lost everything. I mean, thank God. Yeah. Lost his Even club. his rat tail they took. <laughs> they're literally just riffing about how much they hate this guy. <laughs> he lost everything. Yeah, you know that big wart on the side of his neck? Yeah, he lost that too. Don't know, man. Yeah. Um, What's up? It's here to see jo uh, Jocelyn. Who are you? Tedros. Tedros? Mauricio Jackson, it's with an M and then a J, not a G. Let me go check with Jocelyn. Yeah, you think Jocelyn's gonna really want to see you here? Here's past year, she man. said she never heard of you, man. What's that? She said she never heard of you. I heard of you. These guys are getting close. I heard that name Tetro before. He's about Tetro. To, oh god, the guy sitting behind him, bro! The guy sitting behind him is like... <laughs> she ain't ever heard of you, man. What'd you say, little bitch? She ain't ever heard of you. She never he heard. is breathing down his neck. Shot to that. This guy is sniffing his rat tail for herpes. They are close. They are very close to his face. He is... Fuck with me, go on up right now. <laughs> What? <laughs> Wait, shot to that. Yeah, yeah. A little smooth walk you do, man. Okay, so we need to know what happened in those six weeks because if they're if they're on good terms now and Well so Heim did play oh, wow. What? What is happening? Heim did plan B, because he didn't want the money. And now they're here. And now Destiny is gonna do something. But the question is, what are you going to do now? He's fucking being given put a him in chance. time out. If you muff up and you hurt her, I will hunt you down like dog. You oh, See, she's got that this, mama energy. This, this is an intimidating yeah. speech. Kind of oh, it up with a little red gulped. riding hood. This is intimidation. Why didn't they just do that in the first place? So she's just so said, much better. Okay, you are a pimp. Uh, know your fucking place. I don't care about what you did. It's You're good. It's sweet and straight and to the point. She sat him down like a kid who got in trouble for biting another student. And bitched his ass out. Yeah. Listen, I know you have raccoon tendencies, but you gotta put that away. <laughs> we're giving you the rabies shot, and we're gonna leave you- We're gonna leave you in the little cage, and listen, if you behave- Listen up, Wormtail. <laughs> You're gonna rat it up in here. Wormtail? I will chew you up like a cat. Listen here, you little cum rag. <laughs> I, actually, that was a good speech. I wanna take a shot to that. There's you ever heard muff up? Is, does that mean he's gonna act up or shut the f up? You muff up. Cause muff sounds like quiet. Well, muff is vagine. If you, if you vagine up. <laughs> if you bring your little pussy out here. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. Huh? This feels not real. This means as much without you. <gasps> is this like a heroin dream? What? Was this written by a fucking potato? What happened in six weeks? What was plan B? They had a deal of some sort. Huh? He wouldn't have been allowed in unless they wanted him there, but I'm confused as to why. They went from get the fuck out of my house to this. I'm large confusion right now. I still don't understand why he's there and what, what the point of inviting him I wanna was. know what those six weeks did. Why did the three of them think that he got 
walked and he's out, but she, he's going on stage with her. Yeah, I'm, I am. And why is she confused. wearing a half wedding dress, half raincoat? He looks so fing sad right he now. He looks like someone just wrung him out like a dirty towel, a dirty wash rag. So earlier he was like crack magic, and now he's like sad magic. He looks clean now. He looks like he's done crying, but like he's still sad. Broken on the inside. And she, I don't know what her, what she's thinking. I know it's not over yet and we don't really know yet, but I will say, I think this show is pretty awful. Jocelyn, 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 sing about your sex song. Are they gonna show the crowd? I wanna know. Cause that would be a lot of extras. <laughs> they could have just gotten footage from the stadium before. True. Ha, <laughs> you thought the stadium was full? It's empty and they're using that, tricks. It definitely is. There's like 10 people out there with flashlights. I'm so happy to be here okay. in LA, my home. Green screen, green screen magic. <laughs> my family. I've had a tough year. That big red moon is a vibe, though. Blood moon. But then I thought of you and your grace. You, the fans, weren't on her mind at all. <laughs> You've been lied because to. Because I have the opportunity. You're being manipulated the same way I've been manipulated. Huh? What? The love of her life. The man who pulled me through the darkest hours and into the light, Tedros. Huh? I want you to meet my family. I'm so confused. What was plan B? They're shocked, I'm shocked. Why? Plan B was sending him to rehab. <laughs> he looks confused. This is not part of the plan. By the way, we're dating now. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. They're gonna kiss. Shot. Why? Shot, shot to what the fuck is this writing? What? Why? This hey, makes uh, no sense. By the way, the tour's canceled. We're just gonna make out here for the next hour and you can watch us pork. Is this supposed to be some empowering shit? Now it's like she's in control, but why would she want him around at all? This is- uh, He pooped his bands. <laughs> this was definitely like a power play thing, but like why? Why, why this at all? When you run out of witty things to say, you go with fucking fuck. I am Tedros right now. I am confused. My pants are filled with poop and my disappointment is immeasurable. F you, Sam Levinson. I don't understand your vision, nor do I want to. The dog food, that's what it should be called. <laughs> The it makes no sense. The dookie, the poop. They're setting this up for like a season two. I don't want a season two. I want this to be over. The entire, like, 50 minutes of this show was showing how they're not on good terms, how she doesn't want him around, how she doesn't need him. And then the final hour, she brings him back just to be like, I have control over you. you know and just, no one wants it. You know what just happened? Uh, the, writing. Writing, the writers were sitting there trying to think about how to bring the plot together. And they're like, hmm, how there's a big missing chunk. I have an idea. We're gonna explain nothing. We're gonna put a six weeks later. It's gonna be a fucking disaster and we have wasted everyone's time. Exactly. This is this is a uh, Game of Thrones level. We just need to subvert their expectations. I've never seen the MacGuffin in a plot be a six weeks later line in a transitional It plot. literally turned into a new show. That it was, might as well have been a new show, a new universe. I love that it's frozen on Daddy Begged Me Not To Leave. Daddy, we're begging you not to leave because we want you to subscribe and join our Patreon. Join the link in the description down below uh, if you want to see the rest of this show and other shows. Anything like this that is awful and terrible, please comment down below what you want to see. If you want to see the butt that you missed, which was half the episode, it's going to be on Patreon. Thanks to our patrons right here. You guys are awesome. We really appreciate your support and helping us make this happen. And I, this is dog shit. Yeah, I rate this a... Um, Two. A... a I was whelmed. One little red riding hood out of five. <laughs> Toodles. Crack magic.